Hey yo everyone, welcome back to another Terraria video. Today we are doing the fourth and final NPC Olympics contender round. This is the last one. And then we're gonna take all four of them, put them together into the NPC, uh, the official NPC Olympics. And uh, we're gonna see who takes the gold, who wins it all. But yeah, let's, let's get to it. Let me explain everything and what's about to go on in this video. So as you can see here, we got four different colored rooms. We got a copper one, a silver one, a gold one, and a chlorophyte one. And and, uh, we got a bunch of chairs in them and uh underneath those chairs are actuators okay and you know what do chairs do when it comes to npcs they sit on them well i think chairs are primarily used for sitting whether or not it's npcs but the npcs they sit on them and pretty much what's about to go down is the npcs they're gonna walk around as they do or stand still in the corner as they do and you know whatever chair they decide to sit on boom i'm gonna activate the lever boom they said they sit on the gold activate the the switch slash lever it'll drop them down now down here down here that's a little bit off camera so we don't know the outcome or at least you guys don't know the outcome some of these are gonna be open the bottom of these are gonna be open and some of them are gonna be filled with the mines now what happens when an npc falls in a pit of mines they die who would have thought i know but yeah a couple of these are gonna be filled with mines a couple aren't and it's up to the npc to choose the right chair and you know it's, it's really just up to them and i guess fate slash rng whatever you want to use to determine where an npc will walk and sit i, I don't know Let, let's hope that these npcs actually compete or do something don't make me don't make me record you standing still for five minutes that wouldn't be fun so our first npc is the spiritualist from the thorium mod and for our first round here for all eight of our contestants we only have one hole that is filled with mines and as we go up through the rounds there will be more holes with more mines making the odds a lot more slim but let us begin round one for all eight npcs there's no round one match one this time there's none of that now let's hope that this dude or whoever it is under the hood sits down really quickly because there's a lot of times where the npcs especially during testing where they would of course do nothing and stand in the corner just sit down on the chair that you're standing on man i promise you it would be the best decision of your life come on oh he's going into the corner where npcs would stand for like a day let's hope he doesn't stand there the whole time because we, we got seven more npcs after this not oh we got some movement we actually have some movement he moved when i was changing the time of day because it was almost night time and uh he got scared when it was nighttime he started moving around a little bit that's how long he was standing still for oh god here we go again we got more movement we got more movement is he gonna sit down this time of course of course not oh god he's moving please just just sit down <gasps> he sat down now let's see if it's the correct choice yeah he's fine <laughs> it only took him like 10 minutes moving on to our next npc here the steampunker now she she look hyper and of course as soon as i drop her in she's like nah i'm gonna stand still for a while but yeah i try my best to use npcs that i haven't used before but sometimes i forget and sometimes certain npcs will just fit into certain events a lot better than others but yeah i don't think i used any of these npcs besides one of them that we're gonna see later oh she sat down on the copper one all right sweet that, that made my life easier all right now let's see if she chose the right one. Oh, oh she chose wrong moving on to our next npc the hunt master from the juice mod let's see if he makes the right decision or not now my favorite thing about this is that well i guess it's for all the npc olympics you guys really don't have a clue who's gonna win most of the time it's not really you know clear from the start oh we got movement oh and he sat on gold right away see this is what i like to see let's see if he's correct though perfectly fine good job hunt master you have done well next up we got the youngest npc here i think the angler npc who doesn't love him right he's kind of a little dickhead but i don't know maybe he's not his fault he's not that mature yet but you know he'd be, be he'd be snobby a little bit he's a little bit snobby when he's giving you quests he, he likes to make some quirky remarks but let's see if he makes a quirky chair sitting decision i don't know if that adjective applies to sitting on chairs but yeah like i was saying before i like these npc olympic events because you never know who's gonna win even me even i don't know who's gonna win i don't really rig anything so i mean 
if there was money on it, I, I, honestly, I would rig it. But I'm not gaining anything from rigging stuff. So uh, if Rattle, Rattles loses, he loses. Even when I give him an advantage every time. But let's hope that the angler makes my life easier here. Because like I said, we got a couple more to go. This isn't exactly... Oh, it's not the fastest event, but here we go. He sat on the copper chair. Let's see if it was right. Yeah, perfectly fine. The angler making the right decision when it matters. Our next NPC, the pirate NPC. Now, he was originally going to be in the uh, 1v1 NPC battles, but he was a little too strong. He had this like cannon and like nonstop bullet, musket bullet barrage that he did that did so much damage. And, uh, you know, that's the main reason why I didn't include him in that. And I'm pretty sure he hasn't been in any event besides that. Maybe there might be some NPCs that were in the uh, first racing event, because I think I did what three or four rounds i think it was four rounds i did four rounds of four npcs each so that means there was four eight twelve sixteen npcs in that first racing event and that's a lot of npcs so you know my bad if i don't include any of them a lot of them liked racing so that's why they signed up for that event sir what, what was that? Did he just shit himself? What was that? He's got to sit down eventually you would think all the walking back and forth would make him tired after a while <gasps> he sat down. He sat down on the copper, and I'm sorry, but the copper one. Oh, come, come back here. The copper one is perfectly safe. Moving on to our next NPC here, the Lumberjack from the Fargo's mod or from Fargo's mod. And this guy, we have not seen him in a while. I don't even remember if we've seen him in a playthrough, if I'm being honest. But he's a Lumberjack. What do they do? They cut down trees. I know that's incredible. I bet you guys never knew that before. But you know, all that cutting down trees, it makes you tired, huh? Makes you want to almost sit down. I just want to know why NPCs, they stand in corners like what is, what is in their ai that makes them stand in corners i feel like terraria npcs in uh 1.4 they'd be a lot smarter i don't know just, i just have a feeling they look smarter in the trailers oh he sat down on the silver one let's see if he survives or not oh my god lumberjack you have chosen wrong you're the first representative for the fargo's mod too and you have chose wrong look at this do we have a special appearance from santa claus himself i know it's insane that santa claus is here but thanks to this item right here holidays greeting from the thorium mod i think there's other mods that have stuff like this we are allowed to set our season to christmas and we're able to have santa walk around now santa will be able to walk around very soon same thing well actually no there's no halloween npc is there it's kind of upsetting there should be like a halloween npc oh he sat down right away and luckily for santa claus he is a safe man so of course our final competitor here is rattles magoo himself competing in his what fourth olympic of event he has not won a single one so let's hope he actually wins one. Oh, and he stopped right away rattles congratulations you're moving on to the second round it's insane he finally made it to the second round has he ever done that before so we are moving on to round two that means double the bombs there's two holes now filled with mines slash bombs i keep on calling them bombs mines frag mines whatever the hell they're called there's two holes filled with them will the npcs be able to make it to the third and final round there's only gonna be three rounds because i Obviously, if we do a fourth round, that means every single hole is filled. So it really wouldn't make sense. Oh, he sat on the silver one. Let's see if he is correct. Damn, why do they always do that? Oh, it looks like you were wrong. How you still survive somehow. Uh, that's that's not supposed to happen. Looks like you were wrong, spiritualist. Knocked out in mere seconds. Hey, if all rounds are as that fast, you know, this might be a very easy video to record because usually these videos take me forever to record. These videos being the NPC videos. But let's see if the hunt master can make it out alive. He chooses gold. Let's see if he chooses life or death, though. Oh, it looks like an other NPC bites the dust. Man, you really hate to see it. Moving on to our next NPC here. They are getting knocked out in mere seconds of starting their round. I don't know, actually. Yeah, I don't think any have taken anywhere near a minute yet. So let's see if any NPCs make it past this round. If no NPCs make it past this round, we got to go to the sun death. And we got to see if any will make it past in general. Because some NPC needs to make it past. Because if none do, it's impossible for none to make it past i literally need an npc two of them to be exact to make it a certain amount or make it to the third round i guess if more make it to the third round it's gonna be even longer please just sit down i'm just trying to come up with things to talk about please you're right next to a chair just do it i think that one is death so probably don't do it on that one. Oh god <laughs> he sat down on the clarify one let's see if he's right oh my god he's wrong he's not gonna fall is he 
You little bitch. <laughs> Oh my God, they're just getting knocked out. Here I am in the second round thinking that the odds are high enough for at least five, four NPCs to make it. But we're down to our final three NPCs and none of them have made it so far. This is kind of upsetting. I would have thought with a 50% chance to succeed that they would have no problem. Let's hope that our boy here, Captain Morgan, can find the way. He goes for the copper one. Let's see if he's right or wrong. I opened up the wrong thing. He, he's he's right. Thank God that somebody made it. So the pirate is our first NBC to make it to the third and final round. But can Santa Claus and Rattles also make it? If Santa Claus loses and Rattles makes it, that automatically means Rattles and pi the pirate NPC are going to the NPC Olympics. Finally, Rattles has earned his way to the NPC Olympics. But you don't know. Well, we got to see. We got to see. We still don't know yet. Santa Claus choosing the gold hole. Let's see if he's correct. Of course, they never fall on that one, but he is correct. Good job, Santa Claus. You made it to the third and final round. Rattles, oh rattles. Here you are with your chance to make it to the NPC Olympics, but you still have one more hurdle even after you jump over this one. Let's see if he can not only beat the second round, but beat the third round and make it to the NPC Olympics. Oh, he sits at gold right away. Let's see if he is right or wrong. And rattles, you are going to the third and final round for the first time in any NPC Olympic event you've been in. So here we are, the third and final round where there's three holes filled with the mines. There's a very, very low chance, a one out of four chance, I think, I don't know if that's exact, but let's see if even a single NPC can make it past this third and final round. I don't know, man, the odds are really against them, but I, I just really don't know. We might have to go to a sudden death. Honestly, where we put all three of them in the box at once and see who sits down first and who dies first and who makes the right decision. That's if all three of them die. Now let's see if the pirate has made the best decision or the worst of his career. And it is the worst of his career. The pirate is knocked out in the third and final round. Can Santa Claus ho, ho, ho his way out of this one? That's three hoes for three holes filled with mines. Santa Claus, will you make the best decision of your Christmas gift given career? Or will you die just like the pirate, the NPCs before? He goes for green. Where the pirate died last time, let's see if he's right. Oh my God, just don't go to the chlorify one. <laughs> this, this is the moment it all comes down to. Rattles has a chance to secure a definite spot to the NPC Olympics if he survives. The other two NPCs, the pirate and Santa Claus will have to duke it out in a sudden death, both of them being inside of the box at once. Come on Rattles, I'm, I'm, I'm praying for you. I'm hoping that you take this W. I'm hoping you can take this W. He sits on the copper one right away. He's confident, let's see. And he is correct. Ladies and gentlemen, Rattles Magoo, the fan favorite, has finally secured himself a spot to the NPC Olympics. Let's give him a round of applause. Good job, Rattles. You have finally accomplished something in your short life. I don't, short, long life? He, he looks kinda, he looks kinda old. Now the only question that remains is who is taking that second spot to the NPC Olympics? Right away, both of them going for opposite sides. Santa Claus sits on the chlorophyll fight one. Oh, they have made their decisions. Let's see it. Are, are they correct? Yes or no? Santa Claus, damn pirate. And Santa Claus with Rattles Magoo is moving on to the NPC Olympics, everybody. But thank you everybody for watching. As you're watching this, we are pretty much at 100K subs. I think we're at like 99.4, but maybe when you watch this, we might be past it, I don't know. But I just wanna thank you guys for 100K subs and the NPC Olympics is gonna be coming. I think that's gonna be the 100K sub special. And uh, we'll probably have a stream where I, you know, we live stream hitting 100K and then we'll probably have another little bonus video here there but yeah this has been definitely one of my favorite of the npc olympic events i like all of them they're all really fun and uh i got some things to do set them up you know give them a little a little uh spicing up oh maybe not spicing up but give them a little upgrade in terms of looks and other things but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you haven't subbed already make sure to hit the sub button because obviously i'm about to hit 100k subs but i love you guys a lot hashtag justice for rattles right yeah i'm really tired I i've been up for like 20 hours